Yeah, sure, it's a tough time, you know. I mean, you got to make sacrifices. Like, instead of going out to eat, you buy groceries. Yeah, man, Williamsburg is fun, but uh, I'm moving out. I mean, a couple hundred thousand only lasts so long. And I've been here almost a, a year already. Oh, I'm not going anywhere for a really long time. My trust fund is so sick, it's disgusting. I mean, I tell everybody that I'm a model to explain why I have so much money, but it's actually kind of brilliant, really, because, I mean, look at me, I could totally be a model, so. And with the economy and all, I mean, my parents can't keep paying the rent. Well, they can. You know, of course they can, but their financial advisor keeps telling them not to. I don't know, you buy clothes at a thrift store, do crystal instead of blow, but you have to make certain cutbacks if, if you don't want to get a job. I am totally hallucinating in the weirdest way right now. Are you seeing this? In the beginning, there was nothing. Except for, like, abandoned warehouses and ethnic people. Then, in 1996, Williamsburg, Brooklyn was founded when some Gen Xers thought it would be cool to move to a neighborhood they could get killed in. Those that survived the first extinction acted like they were better than everyone that moved in after them. Until those idiots all got old and evicted from the warehouses they were squatting in and no one gave a shit. Then, everyone who was left was cool and that coolness did last for three years. And then complete idiots started moving in. And they brought with them shopping bags and condos and all manner of douchebaggery. And me and my friends got evicted and they demolished our apartments and we basically did nothing for two years. But then, thank God, the economy went south. And everyone but the mega rich or mega poor moved out. And now no one can find a job, so the streets are once again full of people with no direction, taking it easy. And I saw that it was good. Something must have happened with the housing market because now we can afford this sweet new place. Spring finally got George Bush out of office. But not imprisoned, indicted, or executed. Jed grew a beard. I've always had a beard. Ryan is slightly cooler since losing his Wall Street job and spiraling into a pit of substance abuse. <coughs> What day is it? I think I forgot to claim unemployment these last few weeks. And most importantly, the beautiful Courtney. She helped me make our Streamy Award-nominated podcast. You filming Xander, do? It's the season two premiere. Xander, listen, about that... Courtney and I have a new season plan that's gonna blow all your asses inside out. Xander, listen... We're back in production, the Berg is cool again, everybody's happy, it's gonna stay that way forever. Yeah, I got a TV show, I'm moving to LA! Cut. Bon voyage. Mm, you made that, Jen. Yes, I did. Here's your drinks, faggots. <coughs> pay up front. Oh, come on, Maya. You don't pay your friends. Right? I'm not your friend. Pay now. So, Blondie, here, you're moving away. Yeah, um, I'm a new TV show. Good. 
I won't miss her. It's just her gruff, barky personality. You shut the fuck up or you're out of here. <laughs> Such a good friend. <laughs> yeah, so California's calling. I'm heading out west. I'm going to get all the stuff that celebrities have. A house on the beach, surfboard, tons of those tiny little babies from third world conditions. You should get a hybrid. Yeah. Maybe like a half a alien baby or? A car. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Or a Hummer. Yeah, definitely one of those. Courtney, where is your commitment to sustainable living? Oh, spring. Obama is president. Everything's going to be fine no. now. Well, the whole point of everything that he tells us is that we have to work at it, people. What do we have to work at now, anyways? I don't know. There's like, there's problems to overcome. You got nothing. You're just an angry girl without a cause. Oh, I have causes. Spring, honestly, hybrid cars, people, global warming. They're all just kind of passing fads. You just think they're a good idea when they're happening. Remember all the passing fads that we've represented? <laughs> 90s clothes. Garbage present. Garbage present. Garbage The Cripster thing is over, assholes. Cripples. Global warming is not a fad. Speaking of fads. Hey, chicken! Oh, hell no! You are not bringing that in here. Coonskin's in. No. That. Ugh. Xander! Gondry is so big. How old is she? How would I know? Let me tell you, it was cool at first, but now. Totally totes sick of it. Courtney, tell us about your show. Oh, no. You guys wouldn't know about it. So it's a new show? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. No, I mean, yeah. It... No. Why aren't you telling us about your show? I, because I know you guys. WTFDTM. Oh, I'll tell you what that means. It means you guys, you badmouth everything. If it's just a little bit mainstream. Is it a show about fat people or housewives? No. Mean rich people with too much time on their hands? I didn't book that gig, Xander. Vampire forensic investigator. She has a backstory. Is she sassy? Yeah. yeah. She is, so drop it. Bet they discovered you from Xander, dude, didn't they? Nope. My agent. No one watches your podcast, Xander. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Oh. Uh-uh. Fuck you guys! Please. We were nominated for a streamy, which are like the Emmys, except for it's exclusively for people who are doing it on the internet. You lost to Battlestar Galactica. They Mother deserved it. Effers. They did. So sad. It's true. I'm me and I am you. I'm the mama. Where's Ryan, anyway? He said he was gonna come after he brushed his teeth. I gotta get high before I even think about this. So you sure you wanna leave? Give up all this? You know, I don't want my life to be about passing fads anymore. I want it to be about something real, like TV. And the burg has changed, the world has changed. Our economy is shit. We have a guy in the White House we're not even allowed to hate anymore. There's nothing to fight against. Most importantly, being hip is not everything. I think it's time we grew up. Moved on. Maybe even moved out. Great. I've been practicing my gravitas. Could have used a little more sass. Oh, damn it, I knew it. All right, all right, all right, take two, take two. Yeah, you know, I don't want my life to be about passing fads anymore. What do I do? I was thinking about what Courtney said and... Wait... 
Dude. What? Oh. Anyway, so I was thinking about what Courtney said about Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. She's totes wrong about the bird. Life here is so much better than it used to be. Totes. Bill? You can have one. Well, don't you look shitty. I suppose I do. Ryan, you heard Courtney's moving out? Yeah. I saw her tweet, so I at replied, hey, let's go get drinks, and she twatted drinking all day, so I twatted, I'll meet you for drinks, so I gotta meet her for drinks. Shit. What? I don't have any money. She's gonna be a TV star. Put it on her tab. No, 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 no. That's the principle of it. The man buys the woman drinks when the woman gets a TV show. I can't, I can't meet her till I find some money. My life doesn't make sense anymore. Oh God. I, I, I can't concentrate or keep my focus. I, shh, what? Light annoys me and I'm hungry because I skip meals to save money. I'm so sick of hearing I'm hungry from people. Right, just take it easy, man. You just need to rediscover yourself, like we've all done many, many times. You just need some change. Yeah, I need some change. Change. Shh, I need change. So, you're not gonna miss Courtney? What? No. I'll just recast her. I mean, like, as a friend or former whatever it was you guys were? Oh. Well, yeah. Yeah, she was all that. But, um, now she's moving away now, so she's dead to me. California sucks. Please, it's got nothing on Brooklyn. It's time to grow up. Come on. We're living in an adult playground here. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, seriously. In Cali, everybody's beautiful, sure, but they're all stereotypes. In Brooklyn, we're real. You have to be to survive. We live in the hippest neighborhood, in the hippest borough of the hippest city in the world. And we're pretty much the hippest people here, so... It's because we don't try. We're just real. So, whatever we do in this moment, we're setting the trend for the rest of the world. Please, we can't even walk down the street without starting a trend. Totes.com. It's been a while, but... Yeah, you're pretty old, but we still could. Yeah, we still got it. Getting drinks, Courtney. Hey man, you got a couple bucks there. Yeah? Nothing like what we got though, 300 bucks. Oh, we are gonna get so much food, we're gonna blow our asses inside out. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Backyard of Country Club, come and meet me. Must stay here. Sweet. Sweet. Hey. Would you care to exchange an Obama shirt for a beer? Why? People have become too complacent, Ryan. It's time, like our president says, to change. So what are you doing? I'm totally gonna take everybody's Obama shirts. Uh-huh, and... And what? What are you doing? I'm collecting everybody's Obama shirts in exchange for free beer. I'm doing it for Courtney, okay? For Courtney, who's ready to trade all of her ideals for a house on the beach and a Hummer. Oh. Do you have anything? No. No. Can I have a beer? No. Ryan, you're pathetic. Get a job. I've been trying. It's hard. Because, look at me. Four years experience in the financial field, 
casual need of the economy. But hey, I'm young. I'm rearing to go. The question is, can I find a job that will challenge me as it pays me? Hey, even a, even a fraction of what I'm worth. Hey, are you looking for a job? As a matter of fact, I am. Well, then you're gonna need one of these. $15 at Jimmy Jazz. Damn it. I hope you know that beer is nine bucks. I don't have it. Pants off. I know. So how much do you make out here? Uh, on a good day, a couple hundred cents. I, I thought people made a living doing this. You can, if you have some sort of a gimmick or if you know the secret. What's the secret? That the real change is in other people's houses. Hey, Spring. What are you doing? I'm fighting complacency for beer. Lame.state.ny.us. Obama's over, Spring. Yeah, the first season was pretty good, but nobody's into it anymore. He's not over or a TV show. He's the president. He was the president in four to eight seasons. <laughs> Jindal 2012. <laughs> I hate you. How is this fighting complacency? It's for Courtney. Go away. Totally on our way. In just a little while. Suddenly I'm rolling in the dirt. I try and stumble down the passageway. My head thundering with hurt. Think we started any trends today? Oh, definitely. Probably have to wait till next season to see it turn up on the runway, though. Sounds about right. Ryan, what are you doing? I. I, I found. I'm stealing. I'm stealing. Stealing my trust fund money? All right. You can keep it. Thank you. Bad idea, Ryan. Why? I'll be referring to what I'm going to make you do for that money, which I haven't decided yet. Hey, Spring. How much complacency did you fight today, or is it too hard to calculate? I told you a hundred times, it's for Courtney. Now? Every time she goes to wear clothes, she'll have to think about change. And plus, this is going to look great on me. Oh wait, hey, speaking of Courtney. Oh well. Well, we'll just tweet her. Oh, you shouldn't wake her up, right? No, she has a big day tomorrow, I'll let her sleep. Guys, you didn't have to do that. Oh, you got me a gift. <laughs> Ah!
Hola! And welcome to the fair. The Southeastern Delaware Renaissance Fair, of course. Come thee down to our highly authentic Renaissance Kingdom. Tis the most faithful recreation of yon kingly times on the Delmarva Peninsula. Visit multiple stages of top flight entertainment. entertainment. Fill thy belly with meats and sweets from our sumptuous royal food court. Meet dozens of historically accurate characters. characters. Thrill to the chivalry of heroic knights. Take your nuts off with a spoon. Behold the enchanting Princess Cynthia. Larf at the antics of our sprightly minstrels. Avoid our wizard. Test thy metal. Gifts for the family. Surprises. Surprises. Jousting. Juggling. Free parking. Food. Mud wench. Half off in costume, adults 20 shillings, seniors and veterans of foreign wars 15 shillings, children 10 shillings, children under 5 be free, no babies. Open every weekend from now till the end of September. Just off Route 13 in Bridgefield, just past the TJ Maxx, the smaller TJ Maxx. All weapons must be peace tied, and remember. So if the real world be too much for ye to bear, then come down to the 20th annual Southeastern Delaware Renaissance Fair.